Pandora, that magical planet with floating mountains and crazy glowing jungle you've seen in Avatar, could be real. Scientists, thanks to the mighty James Webb Space Telescope, might have found a planet in almost the exact spot where Pandora is set in the movie. It's the same star system, Alpha Centauri, our closest neighbor, just four light years away. The planet they spotted is called S1 for now. Sounds like a phone model, but this thing is a gas giant like Jupiter or Saturn, just a little lighter. You couldn't land on it, it's just a giant ball of gas. Temperatures there are around 40 to 50 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. But here's the plot twist. Gas giants often come with moons. Jupiter's got 95. Saturn's got more than 140. And some of those moons are fascinating places for life. Europa with its underground ocean. Titan with lakes of methane. Now, S1 is a gas giant like Jupiter and Saturn, but sitting in the habitable zone of a sun-like star. That means warmth, liquid water, chemistry. If S1 has moons, and at least one is Mars-sized, then we've got the closest possible spot where extraterrestrial life might actually exist. The James Webb Telescope had a hard time spotting S1. Alpha Centauri A, the star it orbits, is so bright that it was like trying to look for a firefly sitting next to a car's headlights. The telescope had to put on special cosmic sunglasses called a coronagraph to block the star's glare. And for a moment in 2024, it worked. The scientists saw an object over 10,000 times fainter than Alpha Centauri A, but twice as far from it as our Earth is from the Sun. But when they went back in early 2025 to check again, poof, gone. Some people even thought it was never there. But the data suggests it's real, and it's probably just swung around in its orbit, hiding behind the light. Astronomers think we'll be able to see it again around 2026 or 2027, when they test a new, super-advanced telescope. And then we'll probably get the answer if it's good for life or not. But even if it's so, it doesn't mean we should all pack our bags and move to Pandora. Even if S1 has a habitable moon, it's still four light years away, and that's about 25 trillion miles. If you hopped on the fastest rocket humans have ever built, you'd still be traveling for tens of thousands of years. So yeah, not exactly a weekend trip, but in terms of science, this is huge. It gives us a target, a place to point our telescopes, a system where we can dream of sending probes someday. And it's pretty wild that the first serious Pandora candidate is in the exact same neighborhood James Cameron picked for his movie. S1 isn't the only new planet blowing the minds of scientists. In June 2025, the James Webb Telescope spotted TWA-7b. It's a baby giant planet, orbiting a star just 110 light years away. The star it orbits is only 6 million years old. That's nothing in space terms. Earth is 4.5 billion years old. This star still wears a dusty debris disk around it, the leftover construction materials from planet building. Since the 1990s, astronomers have tracked down about 5,900 exoplanets. They found almost all of them indirectly, through the slight dimming of a star's light when a planet passes in front of it. It's called the transit method. So they directly photographed less than 2% of all those thousands of worlds, and TWA-7b is one of them. It's actually the lightest planet ever directly imaged, 10 times less massive than the last record holder. That's insanely small for something Webb could spot, and it shows just how ridiculously sensitive and powerful Webb's instruments really are. Then there's this star system, called L98-59. It's only 35 light years away, still close, just a little farther than Alpha Centauri. Scientists already knew it had a few small planets, but in 2025, astronomers found a fifth one. It's about three times as heavy as our Earth, about 1.4 Earth radii, and completes an orbit in 28 Earth days. It sits right in the habitable zone. That means it could have liquid water on its surface, if it's rocky and has an atmosphere. 
This system is basically a mini solar system with several planets lined up like ducks in a row. The star itself is a red dwarf, so it's cooler than our sun. But that just means the habitable zone is tucked in closer. If we ever detect an atmosphere around L98-59F, it could reveal gases like oxygen or methane, which are signs of life. Scientists are already itching to point Webb at this planet and try to sniff its air. This could be one of the best candidates for finding another Earth-like world. And speaking of Earth-like, meet another candidate for life. This exoplanet is about 20 light-years away, orbiting a sun-like star. It's what scientists call a super-Earth. That means it's rocky like Earth, but bigger, about six times the mass. With stronger gravity, it might hold on to a thicker atmosphere than we do, which could mean more stable climates. And it's in the habitable zone too. But this exoplanet doesn't just cruise around its star in a neat little circle like Earth does. Its orbit is eccentric, which basically means it swings closer and farther from its star as it loops around. That's a big deal, because it actually drifts in and out of the habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone where liquid water could exist. At some point, any water there might freeze solid, and at other times, it could melt into oceans, depending on where the planet is in its journey. This weird setup gives scientists a kind of playground for testing and tweaking their habitability models. And since it's so close in cosmic terms, its light is stronger and easier for our telescopes to pick up. So it's a dream target for the next-gen telescopes. And if we ever develop interstellar probes, like little robotic scouts that can zip along at a fraction of light speed, HD 20794D would definitely be one of the first stops. Of course, not every planet out there is cozy or habitable. TOI 2431B is about 1.5 times Earth's radius, 6 times heavier, and has a crazy density. It hugs its star so tightly that it completes an orbit in just 5.4 hours. That's right. An entire year on this planet is shorter than your workday. The distance to its star is way closer than Mercury is to the Sun. That's why its surface is cooked at around 2000 K. And that's hot enough to melt rock. Because of its extreme orbit, scientists labeled it an ultra-short period USP, Earth-sized exoplanet, one of the shortest period worlds we've ever found. The planet is also likely tidally squished, with its shortest axis being about 9% shorter than its longest, stretched like Play-Doh. Plus, scientists calculated how long before its orbit starts collapsing, and it's only 31 million years. That's shorter than any other known USP planet. In cosmic terms, it's like a firework going off. Blink, and it's gone. As for the host star, TOI-2431 is about two-thirds the mass and size of the Sun, roughly two billion years old, and cooler and dimmer than our Sun. Obviously, TOI-2431b isn't a place for life, it's way too hot, way too extreme. But astronomers think this exoplanet is a prime target for the James Webb Space Telescope. It could study the way light changes as the planet orbits to figure out whether it has an atmosphere and what its molten surface is really made of. Every planet humans find, whether it's a potential home or a doomed fireball, tells us something about what's possible. The discovery of S1 near Alpha Centauri feels extra special because it's right on our doorstep. Of course, we're still waiting for confirmation, but when or if we get it, It'll change the whole game. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.